Let's give you a live look at Highway 141 tonight, just to south of I-44. Right now, this section of 141 remains shut in Valley Park. The Merrimack River's waters are not budging here, but the water has, or the river has crested. But just a few miles can really make a difference, and flooding is improving for many. Our Russell Kinsall is in Pacific, where many are welcoming a level drop before we see more rain. Right now, I'm in a neighborhood on the east side of Pacific. This street is a good example of how the water is receding. This morning, it was covered by flood water. Right now, no longer. Still lots of water on the road back there. A lot of water in this part of town and still some roads that are closed. But this community is breathing a sigh of relief that there wasn't any major damage from this flood event. Brown flood water from the Merrimack River covers part of the east side of Pacific. Several inches of it backed up into Emma Moore's basement. It's her sixth flood, but not the worst. She's lived here 62 years. One of the floods, we were out of our home for four and a half months. Minor flooding has been reported by some of her neighbors. Water in a few basements and a couple of businesses. But when it gets upstairs, it's like glass, like you're walking on glass. Moore and her neighbors loaded up on sandbags to protect their homes and then took some of their possessions and moved out. Over half of my furniture is in storage right now. And then uh, my bedroom furniture and stuff, they just stacked it up on bricks. Several major streets are flooded and might not reopen for a day or two. A few drivers disobeyed the road close signs and drove through the flood water. But Pacific Mayor Heather Philly says the town dodged a bullet this time. It crested, we believe, about 10 a.m. this morning um, at 26.3 feet, so a little bit higher than we had were hoping for yesterday, but only maybe an inch. Both Amron Cruz and workers with Spire were back in Pacific, restoring utility service since the flooding wasn't as bad as originally thought. Philly says the community really pulled together. We did respond. We got the word out um, as soon as possible, which I think made a huge difference. Um, additionally, we prepared for the worst and hoped for the best, and we got the best. While the damage from flooding is minimal, the ordeal is far from over. It's not all over yet, no. We uh, expect to see the water start to recede um, later on this afternoon into early evening. So Amron and Spire had cut off utilities to the flood zone, but uh, they are now working to restore those utilities, electricity and gas, because the flooding wasn't as bad as they had anticipated. However, for those few homes that reported some water in their basement, they will need a city inspection before those utilities can be restored. Live at Pacific, Russell Kinsall, first alert for.